Okay, well here's the GE refrigerator and the control board was failing. There was a double clicking here. You'd heard a double clicking. It short cycled the compressor and um, caused the light on the inside to blink on and off when the door was open. And so that was a problem. And uh, upon inspection, I found that these two capacitors uh, which have been replaced, the, the capacitors in this location, which happen to be the exact same brand model size, um, they were failing and I replaced them with the new ones. So all the other capacitors uh, are still looking good. They don't look like there's any problem. But what happens is you pull the panel off, the cover off of the board, and if the capacitor has gone bad, occasionally it just goes pop. It blows, uh, you know, before you've opened the panel, of course. It's popped. Uh, if it's popped, you'll see what looks like fireworks wrapping paper around it. looks like maybe a firecracker had gone off. You'll find the paper and the wrap, the plastic, uh, around the capacitor somewhere here, probably falling out when you open the door. So, short of bursting or showing any really clear apparent signs, if you, if you look at all the capacitors where they mate with the uh, motherboard, Everything's really clean. I don't see any signs of heat. The, the tops, the lids on the capacitors look completely flat. And uh, so here's some larger ones. Those are looking flat too. So over here are the bad capacitors that I've just replaced. These, um, if, if you inspect them closely, which is difficult to do on video, they're bulging at the top. The lids, the silver part with the red marker, is bulging upward and it should be perfectly flat. So what that's telling me is that the ventilation is not occurring properly. Um, somehow due to oxidization or something it's sealed. And the electrolyte, and I could be totally wrong, but here's my explanation. The electrolyte then f is flowing back from the browning of the, where it shows the negative signs, the gray stripe has become brown because of the electrolytic fluid leak which has caused deterioration of the performance of the capacitor which then caused the refrigerators not to work. So these are made, these are NAN tongs go to badcaps.net for a list of the manufacturers who produced the defective capacitors using the wrong formula there's hundreds of millions of these in circulation in electronics all throughout the world and a lot of times the big problem is caused by these little parts so good luck take a look at your capacitors and figure out your problem thanks have a good day